Happy Saturday, everyone. My name is Jeff Jones. I am a spokesman from theboxman.com, where we have changed the way that you should watch TV. And in this video, let's take a look at a secret application that will keep your Android devices running clean and running smooth. So let's jump. All right, guys, we are back. If this is your first time to, to one of our platforms, uh, one being the Stream Machines YouTube channel, where we take the difficult themes of streaming and make them simple for you one video at a time. Go ahead and like that video. If you're on Rumble, like that video and give us a thumbs up, uh, especially on YouTube, uh, even if it's for, <laughs> if we're trying to do good. The thumbs up really helps us with the algorithm of YouTube and your comments help as well. Utility applications, before I jump into this secret app or the application that will keep your device virus-free and clean, um, are better than other applications. I mean, we get really excited about the TV and the, the on-demand and this and that, but without good utility apps, your device or investment in that device is not going to run at an optimal level. Enter DevSquid. Here's DevSquid right here. This is an all-inclusive application. And what I use it for normally is the speed test, the virus scan, and to manage my apps. Um, I really like it. And our, our customers who have it, because it's absolutely free, really likes it. I normally don't do the cleaner because I have uh, uh, Tech Doctor UK's cash cleaner. And um, I use that cleaner a lot and app closer, you know, it kills all the apps. But I just wanna go through a couple of functions. Having an application like this on your Android media devices can't be wrong. You may not keep this, but it gets you to looking at something to keep, again, your investment as clean as possible. So with our Android devices being in the, you know, 255 range with live TV and all that good stuff, if you're going to invest something in the money into that, you should learn how to take care of it. So let's start with the speed test. And that's self-explanatory. I mean, if it's all in one, you might as well use it all in one and it will start all by itself. Um, and it's going to tell you your download speed. And I'm in what I call the dungeon here in my garage. So my Wi-Fi is could be a little challenge, but it's about 62, 63 with just plenty enough speed for you to do what you need to do, especially if you're streaming through a device. And that's good to know, and that'll let you know how that is. The next thing I use it for, um, I don't use the cleaner. You can definitely do it. It's very simple to use. I've already cleaned the device, so if you wanted to try that, go ahead and do it. What's impressive to me is the virus scan. This is where the rubber meets the road. So if I start to deep scan all of these, it's going to start deep scanning all of the apps that I have installed. So it'll start at the top there and work its way down to show you the deep scan all the way through. And if you look to the left, it has a little chart color coded, whether it be undetected, harmless or malicious. Right now I have one malicious app on my device that I should take care of and it's already run it. So if I go down the harmless ones, you'll see all the harmless ones that they scanned. You'll see I have 75% of my apps are harmless. 5% are undetected, which means they couldn't really detect it. And one malicious. So if I keep going down, you're gonna see the only malicious one, which is really strange, is the background apps where I can, you know, eliminate background applications from here you got the undetected ones which are okay here so just this information so if i wanted to get rid of this i can go to the next part of the video and i'll show you how to do that but i've used this application for years so i'm a little surprised by it but better safe than sorry you know i know this application and i use it and that just when you have that type of virus scan it's good to have if you've never done it you never know. So if you go over to manage applications, 
Now you're going to see what you can manage. You can uninstall for stop these all the way down. So if I go down here, if I wanted to uninstall this, I could. I'm not going to. I did stop this one, which is fine. My VPN is there. My VLC, my ad block is there. You know, there's a lot of different apps that are here that I can take care of right there. The last thing I want to show you is how it manages your device. So maybe you need it for that. Maybe you don't, but I'm going to go right here and press OK. And you can see my location here. You know, you could see that I have the Wi-Fi. If I click on that, the security unknown sources. If I click on that, I don't I can allow unknown sources. So let me turn that on right there. Now that's allowed. And so that shows you how it's allowed for it to work all the way through. Let me go back in. I'm sorry. And it just works really well. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Let me go back over here to manage apps. And that gives you the, the freedom to go all the way down and get rid of what you don't, what you want get rid of keep what you don't want you know what i mean whatever keep what you want get rid of what you don't want sorry about that but i like the fact that it gives you the flexibility i like the fact that this app is not seen a lot i think i seen it on tech doctor years ago but we have used this for over three years and so we we put this in our unlink store and different things like that for our customers who purchase from us from the boxman.com They'll have access to different websites and different applications that we have. When we make that readily available for them, this happens to be one of them. So I suggest you take a look at DevSquid. Now, where do you find this? Okay, now I know it. you're like, well, what about the privacy test? I've already done that today. So I haven't done the speed test, which I did. I did the cleaner. I did the virus scan. I got my device, which will show you your device, which is not a problem there, which we did. So if I went to internal storage, it's going to open up the internal storage on the box. If I go to notifications, nothing because I don't get notifications on this box. But if I go to app settings, it'll open up the settings on here. So this, I think if there was a downside to this, it has a lot. It holds up a lot of memory because it's a multifunctional app, you know, 43.19 megabits. So that's pretty large. I think that's a pretty large file for me. I don't like it that much, but some people love this app and I thought I'd share it with you. Now, as I close out the video, you're probably saying, where can I find this at? I mean, where can I, you know, install it? Well, one place is their website, which I'll put in the description of the video. And the second place is amazon.com, which I found the link on there where you can install that as well. Uh, from Amazon and it's it's the top version version 163 and I think you should uh, take a look at that So even at the bottom as I close out You'll see that the board gives me the board the brand is formula It even brings up the device the 11 Pro Max the hardware the manufacturer the model all that good stuff Pardon my dogs and as I close out the video I want to give you guys a chance to go check those things out Install it, check it out. If it works for you, use it, use it, use it. It's absolutely free. And if you're gonna invest two to $300 in a device, you might as well keep that investment. It's clean and it's running smooth as possible. Hey, I really appreciate your time. Um, thank you for watching this video. In my next video, we're gonna take a look at a really paid application that everyone who has Amazon should have, and that's Prime Video. We'll see you in the next video.